hi guys welcome back to my channel so today my son does start virtual school virtual learning and he starts in about 20 minutes it's currently like 8 40 8 40 or so monday august 24th you can see our little setup here um but today's gonna be a busy day because i still have to work as well and i wanted to get a head start on dinner and for days like this i love using my crock pot because it's just easy you don't have to worry too much about it just check in on it and today i wanted to make a uh, chicken burrito crock pot bowls in a sense um so let me show you what we need and we can prep it right now before he starts all right for our crock pot chicken burrito bowls we're gonna you can use boneless skinless chicken breast chicken thighs i have frozen tenderloin so i'm just gonna go ahead and put them in the crock pot just like that we have uh one cup of uncooked brown rice we have one cup of frozen corn you can use fresh corn as well it's just what i have on hand like i said and then we have about 15 ounces about a can of black beans rinsed and drained a cup of chicken broth you can put more as needed depending on how you like it if you feel it's too dry add a little bit of more chicken broth or water and then we have a can of diced tomatoes just one whole can you don't have to drain it or anything and we have a little bit of chili powder we have some salt and we have some kicking chicken seasoning by weber and this is kind of like a two-part kind of recipe you'll see right now what i'm talking about all right so for the first half which is about three three and a half hours or so we're going to go ahead and put the chicken in going to put all of our seasonings going to put the diced tomatoes and then our chicken broth Cover that up. And we're gonna go ahead and select for our mark. We'll check up on it and see um, if the chicken is done so we can go ahead and move on to the second part of the recipe. Ready, Papas, for your first day? Yeah. Say hi. Here, hold your sign. This is going great. Okay, I don't know. We're having some technical difficulty. Supposedly, there's a Zoom outage. And. There's a zoom outage, so it's taking a while to connect. Meanwhile, Benjamin is having fun writing on my to-do list. Oh, okay. Almost there. Benjamin. <laughs> 
He's really concentrating on his drawing. Throw the boat across. Oh. Run to the bridge. Run to the bridge. making sure liquid is good so we're about a minute 40 I would say another hour before we do the second part of the recipe which I'll show you then and for now my child is going to take a nap and I'm gonna make a green juice because I am exhausted and I still have to work So it says about 46 minutes left and this is what it looks like. Just go ahead and give it a stir. You should have enough broth or water, whichever you prefer. Um, because you don't want it to be too dry, we're going to add our one cup of uncooked brown rice. I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle it in there. Also our black beans and corn. So now that you have everything in there, just go ahead and mix it up. That looks good. We are going to cover it up. Okay. Now we're gonna switch the temperature to low eight hours but really we're gonna cook it only about three three and a half more hours and i just put it on the low setting instead of the high and i would say in about two hours we'll check it to check on the rice if you feel like it's too dry can add more broth and more water hi guys just checking in it's about 2 p.m i look and feel exhausted <laughs> i've been up since like 4 30 in the morning it's two right now i still have like an hour and a half or so left to work um uh, my child is still napping i guess school was very exhausting hopefully you know he enjoys it more as he does it every single day moving forward so i was thinking fall vibes even though it's so hot outside right now um i'm over the heat and i need something so i was thinking why don't i light a candle lighting a candle just makes me feel cozy happy i recently got two candles from bath and body works and one from target that are all like fall related and i think i'm gonna light one up what i'm going to light up is a sweet cinnamon pumpkin So I got this sign um, from Amazon, and I just wanted something cute and simple, easy to fill out for my son's first day of school. Even though it's virtual learning, I still wanted to get a little something just to make it special. And then I got these markers, and they're really cool. I actually messed up on the pre-K, and I just wiped it off with a napkin with a little bit of water. Came right off, no problem. So yeah. It was all very affordable. Anyways, I have the links down below for you guys. So we're about two hours in again on the second half of the recipe. Go ahead and uncover it. Give it a little mix. Now, it should definitely have some juices up in there so the rice can cook. If you feel like you need to add more water or broth, go ahead. But don't add too much because you don't want it to be too, um, I guess, soggy. But if that is your preference, you can go ahead and do that as well. And Or if you don't want to cook the rice in here, you can always cook it separately and add it on separately or 
eliminate it all together. Whatever your preference is, this is just the way I did it all in one. Less dishes. So it looks good so far. It smells delicious. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up for maybe another hour and a half. I see you. What was your first day? Did you enjoy it? How was your first day? Look at your arm. Where's Benjamin? So it's been about three and a half hours. And it looks like it's ready to go. You, will, you won't see that many liquids or juices left. Because it's all been absorbed by the rice. And you can shred the chicken in here. It literally just falling apart. You can do it with your spoon, with your hands, with the fork. You can take it out. Whatever you prefer. But I think I'm just going to do it with the spoon. It's very easy it's coming apart and plate it put some cheese sour cream you can make actual burritos out of this all right so here I just plated it with some cheese and yeah it looks really good it smells delicious all right guys that's it for today's video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up I hope you like the easy crock pot recipe I know it was like a two-part kind of crock pot recipe but it's really good and it's mainly because of the rice um, but you don't have to add the rice and you could just put it on a low setting for six to eight hours um, But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye